<laughs> During today's conference call, we found some great news about the reopening of our first uh, Disney park. So, let's get right into it. It was announced today on that earnings call <laughs> that uh, Shanghai Disney will be reopened on May 11th. WGWN News Today kind of uh, speculated as far as a couple weeks ago that they could be reopening um, this month because um, of test uh, some testing of some uh, cues as seen in these pictures, all credited by WGWN Today. Interesting fireworks shows, um, as seen in another uh, video, I'll link up above. And now, the schools are, have been going back to school in Shanghai from April 27th to May 11th. So, it is now, it was speculated that sometime in Midway, Midway, Shanghai will be reopening. And now on the conference call today, it was announced that, from Bob Chapek, that Shanghai Disneyland will be reopening May 11th with reservation only limited attendance and temperature screening. JPEG also states that other Disney parks will follow the same protocol when, reopen when reopening. So the Disneyland Resort will have be reservation only. Maybe, I don't know if it's be for annual pass holders only. Reservation orders. Reservation to everyone. But um, that will be very interesting. It will be. A sign, uh, basically just like when Galaxy's Edge opens and you had to make a reservation for um to get into the park for a certain time window. Um, at the, I'm sure there's, these reservations won't be a certain time window, they'll, just, they'll be all day. But it be interesting to see if it will be easy or tough to get a reservation um, when the Disneyland Resort reopens. But yes, yeah, so I'll have limited attendance. I assume maybe there's about 50% or less capacity, definitely 50% or less, but I don't know how less, probably like 50%. Shanghai, space wise, Shanghai Disneyland is the largest Disney park in the world, and by acreage. So it it can hold a lot of people, so 50% capacity should be okay because there should be a lot enough space to do the social distancing as well. Um, as you see in these pictures, there's continued. Um, Virtual queue. I'm um, sorry, there'll be virtual queues, but uh, potentially, and but there'll be uh, strict social distancing. Especially these markers everywhere in all Disney parks, of where you can stand and not stand um, when in a queue. There'll be um, obviously, I think there'll probably be the return of. Um, shows and obviously, and maybe even in like dining and dining seating because again, they were testing the fireworks shows, they were testing, they were doing seating like restaurant and like dining and restaurant seating. And of course, the virtual keys in Shanghai, also like China, they have um an app system called a health QR code. And if you have a green QR code, that means you're good to go, you don't have virus. So, you'll need to have a green QR code to be able to get inside Shanghai Disneyland. That one will be exclusive probably to Shanghai Disneyland because um, I don't think people in America would like that too much um, to be tracked by an app. But comment below, do you, would you mind being tracked by an app to, just to see if you're like good or not? Or do you want a different form of testing, maybe like a card that says <laughs> you have antibodies? There's a lot of potential expanded options. But obviously, they'll be doing temperature checks as well. And they'll be slowly reopening the park in yellow. And by doing that, they'll need to make reservations. <laughs> Probably via, via the Shanghai Disneyland website or app as well. And a separate town news story. Um, the, let's see, CE, Disney, Disney Parks chief medical officer have has released his, has released plans for the opening of the rest of the Disney parks and locations and is then it's gonna take kind of like a Shanghai approach. It's gonna be a phased reopening so we're gonna look at they're gonna going to open their shopping districts first like downtown Disney and Disneyland Hotel just like they did with Shanghai. That's what we'll be doing here at Disneyland. 
whenever they decide to, it's best to reopen. There'll be physical distancing, distancing and capacity measures. There's like staying high. They're going to increase cleanliness and sanitation. They're going to do screening and prevention support, meaning a requirement of masks and temperature checks. And they're going to further train their cast to uh, make sure uh, to, to do like safe protocols um, regarding loading and unloading attractions, as well as um, dining and all that good stuff. No further details were announced, but it's just kind of like a vague detail. But it's a promising sign got that um, that uh, we're finally getting to a point of reopening, not Shanghai, but all the Disney Park. Thank you for watching, and have a fantastic day. I'll make sure to subscribe below for more updates on when other Disney parks are going to reopen, and other theme park news updates, as well as um, good stuff like that. So definitely subscribe, comment, and like. And as always, have a fantastic day.